welcome back. We are, we are like, really, we've taken, we're doing good. We're painting a portrait, a self-portrait of the true artist within us. And you know, sometimes the mistakes that we find, on, the mistakes that we find we do end up being the miracles that create us as the true artist. So that being said, we're going to move on from the color vermilion. And we're not going to use that color because sometimes you just don't feel it. You just feel like you got to move on. So we're going to pick, and I'm not going to look very much because I don't want to give dead bug juice on myself. Uh, the true artist inside of me has picked the color Permanent green light. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That is exactly the type of thing that I want to live my life by. I want to think of life as the permanent green light. Always on the go. There's no stopping. There's no vermilion. Getting in your way. We're going to take the green light and go. We're going to go all the way. And we're going to make the most beautiful self-portrait of the true artist we can make. So. Apparently, I've used this color before. Here we go. That is a beautiful color. That is a beautiful color. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to get caught up, caught up in the in the red light. You know, the stopping point. What is the stopping point when we're doing our self-portrait? For me, it's having outlines. We don't. We want to go from within to out. And what Vermilion tried to do with that damn paintbrush before is it tried to box me into lines. That's how we got into this conundrum. It was it was not a mistake. <laughs> it was not a mistake. It was fate. But it wasn't cool. So we're going to move on. And we're now using permanent green light. And what am I going to do? Certainly not going to make lines. Certainly not going to make lines. You don't make that mistake twice. This is already turning out a lot better. This is already turning out a lot. <laughs> I'm really pleased with it. I hope you are. Oh. Uh, I, I assume that you're painting along at home, right? Like, I'm not doing this by myself. You can be an artist. This isn't about me. I've painted so many pictures. Uh, people hang my pictures up a lot. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of times I'll go to somebody's house. Uh, and I'll walk in and I'll see a print of my picture and I'll be like, oh, that, that's mine. I did that. And then I find out, then I find out that I sold one painting to somebody and, and they photocopied it and they gave it to a lot of people, but it's okay. It's art. Spread it. I mean, <laughs> would be nice to get a little bit of money though. Uh, I don't want to complain, but I don't like ramen noodles uh, that much. I mean, I like ramen noodles. There's nothing wrong with ramen noodles, but if what I'm saying is if people bought my paintings more often, then I would have a lot more money for things like I really like to eat sushi, but I can't have sushi every day. In fact, it's been, <laughs> it's been months since I had sushi. And, oh, oh my god. It's, this is crazy, but I feel like, I feel like permanent green, permanent green light is trying to, it's trying to make lines. <laughs> we don't want lines. No, we are going to paint from within. So despite what they're saying, we're going to force it. There. That's not a line. That's, that's a bulbous area at most. Uh, I could call it a giant dot. Oh, I see. This looks like an alien. This does look like an alien. Let's fill this out. I think that's what it is. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Maybe I'm the alien. Maybe the true... Maybe the true artist inside of me is an alien. And I, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that a lot. I don't know why the alien has such a beer belly. That's pretty strange, but I'm pretty confident this is going to turn out perfect. Oh my gosh, it's turning out... This is almost creepy. It's like, I feel like I'm being controlled by an alien. Uh, maybe I have, maybe I have alien heritage. Uh, this right there. Wow. 
I think that those green things coming off the top are like antennas. I mean, I would, I would imagine that aliens have antennas, right? Am I the only one that thinks that they're kind of like, they're kind of like green, giant, friendly ants? Oh, that must be a hand. Am I crazy or does that look like a hand? It's so strange that, like, hands are universal. Like, aliens have hands, people have hands. <laughs> Because it's not that universal, sorry. My bad. Uh, I was thinking dogs, but they don't have hands. <laughs> I mean, that would be very crazy. Oh, don't be afraid to embrace the silliness of, of painting, because if you're not smiling, then you're not doing it right. I mean, there's some people that will paint really dark, like scary pictures, but that, nobody wants to see that. People want to see beautiful things. And that's truly an inspiration to me. Uh-oh. It's okay. Here we go. I feel like, I'm feeling like from within I need to change colors. So I'm moving on. We're going to see what other, what other colors there are. Just so you know, the vermilion brush just, just touched the, touched the permanent green light brush. Oh, there's paint on my pants. That's bad. Oh, I hope I'm not getting paint on my scarf. <sighs> I know this is a big risk, but sometimes it's like, if you can't allow something to make a mistake and make up for it later, then that's kind of scary. Like, what if I made a mistake? I don't want people to let me make it up later. So, what does that mean? We're giving Vermilion another chance. I feel like it's now connected with the permanent green light brush. I mean, look at this. See that? The permanent green brush tapped onto this and like added its own little splash. I think that's just enough. I think that's just, oh, that permanent green brush just hit a lot of things. So, what do I feel like is coming? I think it's going to be a smile on the alien. It was a smile on the alien. That, everything that Vermilion did before, I totally forgive it for. Because it just took, I mean, that could have been, it could have been a scary face on the alien. And that, I don't want to be a scary faced alien. I, the last thing I want anybody ever to think when they see me is that they're scared. Because all I want is everyone to be happy. So, Vermilion, you totally re, you totally you totally, uh, you made up for your problems. I don't know the word I was looking for. I'm sure that you guys would have helped me out if you were here and said, you're looking for the word, and I'd have been like, you're right. You're 100% right. And that's because we connect a lot. We connect so well together. Okay, what's next? I don't even know. What color is this? It looks like blue, but I'm sure it's not just blue. This this scarf is giving me a bit of a hard time. So what color is this? Oh, it, it, it's cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. It's, it sounds really pretty. <laughs> just came really quick there, huh? Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. God, I know exactly what that is. It's the ball on the end of their antennas. I had no idea. Cobalt Blue is on the game. Wow. Oh. I wonder if that's the eyes. Maybe it's... Oh, oh, oh. Antennas are basically the eyes of ants, aren't they? They're, well, they're feelers. I think they have eyes, too. I've never looked an ant in the eye, but I feel like they have eyes. And it's not like I'm saying that I feel like they've been watching me or anything. Like, I'm like, ooh, the ants are out watching me. I'm just saying, probably have eyes and antennas, so they're probably better at seeing that. Okay. What are you doing, Cobalt Blue? Oh, what is this guy?
like we have something completely new joining our group. Wow, it just keeps going on and on. It's it's starting to make sheep. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh, that's a very long thing. Of, uh, I don't know, this is a clean picture. I don't know what it looks like, but it looks a little dirty. It looks like perhaps it's a face. Looks like perhaps it's a face. And I would imagine if it's a face, then that has to be a nose. I mean, right? I mean, it's an offense probably. Wouldn't be out of this world if it wasn't an alien. If it wasn't an alien. Well, I guess it would be out of this world. But what I'm saying is it's not... It's plausible. I'm thinking it's an alien. Well, hello, how are you? That's a bird? I don't know what it is. It sounds like a cat. Like a really sick old cat. Hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. Well, just so you know, I was, I was filming a little tiny comedy video. I, I don't oh, usually look this crazy. It's totally okay. Uh, I know it's crazy looking. I just wanted to let you know that... Uh, Ha <laughs> ha.